Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about iterating over a data frame. Iterating means we will put our data frame into a loop and we will iterate it column by column and row by row. So the first question is why it is required to iterate a data frame. So when we need to process our data frame and want to change some values, we can change those values directly by accessing those values. But if the number of rows or number of columns are very large, say there are 50,000 rows in data frame. So it is required to process those rows or to change some values in that data frame by using a loop or accessing it one by one using programming so in that case we want to iterate over the data frame and want to access row by rows or column by columns to process our data frame so there are two functions we have learned some functions in our previous session if you want to see those functions the link is in the description and above the video you can see that list uh, the link and you can click on that to visit the functions of data frame so there are two functions iter rows and iter items to iterate over rows and columns respectively iter rows iterate over the rows of data frame and iter items iterate over the columns of data frame so we will see these two things one by one so we are considering this data frame so we have imported one pandas library and we have created our dictionary in the data frame we have created a data frame and we have given indexes as student 1 2 and 3 and you can see this is my data frame we will perform operation on this data frame so first we will see iter rows so using this function we can iterate over row by row we will use this function as df that is the data frame we have just created dot then our function name because it is a function we are using braces here you can see it is returning a returning an object of data frame dot iter rows type we have to put this into a loop so that we can get the values inside this object so we will take value one by one, by one and then we will print those values you can see it is returning three values in the form of tuple if you know what is a tuple tuple is a data type which is enclosed in small brackets and it is a sequence data type so this is a tuple a comma b so you can see the values which has returned by this df dot iter rows in the form of tuples you can see small braces and there are two values the first value is this and the second value is this we will print our data frame also so it will be very easy to understand what it is printing so you can see this is my data frame and I am getting these three values why I am getting three values because I am iterating over rows there are three rows first row second row and this is my third row so there are rows and row name or row index so the tuple which will be returned by this for loop will contain my row index that is student 1 in my first row and the row my row is 1 adrija and 80 so it will con it will have 1 adrija and 80 with column names row number is 1 name is adrija percent is 80 so this tuple is containing one string that is row name or row index and another one is a series which is my row the series contain series is a one dimensional data structure it has indexes and values 
so the indexes is column names and values is the row values of data frame so again you can see second row is also written in the form of tuple the first value of tuple is row index second value is a series of row number 2 name is Baisali row number is 2 name is Baisali and percent is 85 so the series name is student 2 and data type is object in the same way third row has returned so this is here I am uh, iterating row by row so since it is returning a tuple I can get two different values of tuple in two se separate variables so I will take values in i comma j and I will print those values separately what I am doing here this is my tuples first value so it will come into i and this will come into j this is my second value so it will come into j and I am printing both separately let us print now so you can see i has printed as student1 and j is printed as in the form of series now it is not printing in the form of tuple because I have, I have taken those different values separately two values were there in tuple so I have taken those values separately in i and j and I am printing i and j now so it is printing student1 and the series how you know this the second item is series we will check the data type also we will check the type of j we will not print j we will now check the type of j you can see the i is student1 and the j was a series again the i was student2 then j was a series in same way the third row is i was student3 and j is a series since j is a series we can iterate over that series also j was a series see j is a series so I can iterate over this series also so I will make another loop inside this loop for items in j and then I will print items so now you can see I will print I, I empty an empty print statement so then so that space will come here so you can see the separate rows you will remove this df you can see I am getting three rows one two and three now the, this is not coming as a form of series because I have iterating over it I am I have created a loop on that series J and printed it so this is iter rows where I am iterating over rows in same way you can use iter items so iter items is again returning an object so we will use loop to get different items i print i we will give another print so print space here also you can see it has returned three tuples it is having two values one value then comma then another value we will print our 
data frame you can see iter items is used to trade over columns so column by column first row number column second name column third percentage so the first value has come as row number and the second value is series what series 1 2 and 3 with the series label as or series index as student 1 student 2 and student 3 you can see in the uh, previous case row by row data was coming in this case column by column data is coming the second tuple is name and then Adrija Baisali and Arijit Adrija Baisali and Arijit the third is percentage and 80 this is 80 85 and 89 so again this is in the form of tuple we can separate these values in tuple by receiving two values in for loop so first value is column name second is column series so we can print column second we can print column series you can see now it has print it has printed column name roll number then my column in the form of series yeah here name and then all the name in the form of series you can print the type of this variable and you can find that this is the series you can see this is it is a series one moment if you want you can iterate over this series so we will iterate over this series for k in column series and then we will print k so in this case the name is coming and series is coming so series i am iterating over series so one by one values will come now you can see our column is coming one two three is coming value by value now it is not coming in the form of series so this is iter rows and iter items we will see one example for programming on these using these functions iter rows and iter items in our next video thank you if you have any doubt you can ask in comments